okay so what is up everyone this is Karen here welcome back to tech Karen youtube channel i mean ui 12.6 1 os 21.4.17 beta version which i've installed it on a redmi note 8 it's available for some other devices like a redmi note 9s it's available for a poco x3 also and some other devices i'll put a link in the description for all the supported devices which this which this room is supported this one is one os and it's actually based on MIUI or you can say MIUI 12.5 or you can say MIUI EU ROM. Let me show you by going into all specs for Redmi Note 8 users. It's based on Android version 11, the latest Android version and it's kind of based on official version. So I don't think so you will get bugs or something like that after using some time. I think so it's good for your daily driver or kind of something different thing for you to use on your device because Xiaomi EU and everything else is same. But this one which doesn't contain any kind of features which it was expected but unfortunately no features available only a theme from one ui or you can say one ui theme is there but the thing is it does doesn't come with any kind of blotware you can see the smoothness is good also i have applied the one os or you can see one ui theme on my device which is pre-installed i haven't installed any kind of third party theme i haven't installed any kind of theme from the theme store it's the theme which is pre-installed and you can apply it directly by going into theme store talking about the bloatware as i previously mentioned to you no browser no blotware etc so no blotware kind of things but it also doesn't come with the xiaomi weather app it has a different kind of weather app which i haven't checked it by going into about info but yes this weather app seems to be good one so it comes with the different kind of weather app on your device no blotware some one year related things so kind of a very different and interesting kind of custom for you if you want to use a interesting room on your device if you are looking for an interesting one room on your device to install on your device doesn't matter if you're using redmi note 8 if you're using redmi note 9 s if you're using poco x3 like that we have almost a lot of devices available for the which this build is supported i have as you can see one ui which i have applied on my device and yes it's just working good this is the theme let me show you by going into some screenshots as you can see this is how it is looking like but the control center in screenshots is looking a little bit different here let me show you the control center once on my device this is how the control center is looking like let me just remove the card once this is how the control center is looking like something different something actually unique but yes it's kind of okay okay you can install this theme on other devices and this one os is basically nothing else a xiaomi eu themed room but yes if you are still looking to install it you can this is kind of a volume panel which you get here and you can see there are more than three options available for you to customize in your volume panel by default you get three but now we have four options available where you can also adjust the alarm volume and everything else is kind of same new kind of volume panel but if you talk about the power menu we have some changes in the power menu as you can see we have the new power menu here through which you can simply double tap at the center and you will be able to enable the extended power menu on your device which is actually looking not bad and it's just up to you it's just your choice if you're looking to install this if you like this build on your device you can use that if you are looking to install something different thing on your device maybe you can go for that one it is not that much great it doesn't come with any kind of features and also i was expecting some bit of features features there but unfortunately we didn't got as you can see we have a, this kind of settings ui after applying the one new theme on your device but doesn't get any kind of options as you can see the switches are a little bit of change there even though there are some color changes in the display settings in the lock screens display everywhere we have some little bit of color changes if you install this if you use this then you will notice then you will feel there are some differences if you compare it with the stock one and if you talk about the default home screen settings home screen settings i didn't saw any kind of major changes some bit of changes were there which are not known which are not actually noticeable wallpaper and personalization as it's based on miui 12.5 so the ui is there it comes with all those interesting super wallpapers pre-installed but it also comes with some interesting system wallpapers alongside with that as you can see one way wallpapers are present there and you can apply directly by going into there click on apply you can simply apply with home screen lock screen and both at once and these are actually pre-installed wallpapers doesn't require any kind of internet connection link for this build is in the description this was all from today's video i hope you like this thanks for watching and goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air